by the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Back at Haven, I saw. I thought I saw. How can you be here? She's not. I fear we face a spirit. Or a demon. You think my survival impossible? Yet, here you stand alive, in the Fade, yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Really? How hard is it to answer one question? I'm a human. And you are... I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. The real Divine would have no way of knowing that I'd been made Inquisitor. I know. Because I have examined memories like yours. Stolen by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself. But the Nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world. Was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The nightmare has fed well. Can you help us get out of the Fade? I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor.
So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. I wondered if you might be concerned about the Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. I've never met the Divine. You think that was really her? Well, I have no idea. If its spirit is not acting like one, no demon would have been so helpful without asking something in return. And the Nightmare? From what she said, I don't look forward to meeting it. Sounds like it preys on fear. Stealing people's memories, that's low, even for a demon. Memories make us what we are. A monster that takes them away. I don't want to think about that. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. little boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulder. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think that pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home, so by all means let me return what you have forgotten. Worse. These foes are likely but servants of the true demon. Pity.
Perhaps I should be afraid, facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. <laughs> like Blackwall. Ah, there's nothing like a Grey Warden, and you are nothing like a Grey Warden. I'll show you a Warden's strength, beast. I mistook you for your father. Once again, Hawk is in danger because of you, Varric. You found the Red Lyrium. You brought Hawk here. Just keep talking, Smiley. Did you think you mattered? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Smaller fears, I would wager. Scavenging whatever the nightmare leaves behind. And of course, they look like giant spiders. Spiders? That is not what I saw. The demons look different to each of us. Personalized little terrors. Wonderful. So, can you tell me who, what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or 
Some kind of fade remnant of her. Or a spirit imitating her. Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? <laughs> Seems like I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Perhaps you were precisely where you were meant to be. Just as the Maker intended, I suppose? Perhaps. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? Up to heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the Nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks the door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. So, all of this is just a dream? Part of the Fade? It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Just what you have seen. I'd like to know more about the nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget. And it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. It makes people forget the worst parts of their fears. It almost sounds like the nightmare is helping people. Perhaps it was, once. But now, it helps no one but Corypheus. By his hand, it creates more fear and grows even stronger. In any case, robbing people of their fears is never a kindness. At best, it is a mistake born of compassion. Without fear and pain and failure, we cannot learn. We cannot grow, as you cannot grow until you recover all that was taken from you. We should keep moving.
Keep running! I thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade. It was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit? You don't say. I am sorry if I disappoint you. here to help me instead of passing on if that is the story you wish to tell it is not a bad one what we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple thanks to the gray wardens as i said the gray wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of corypheus we can discuss this further once we return to adamant assuming that the wardens and their demon army didn't destroy the inquisition while we were gone how dare you judge us you tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. But you'd ignore that, because you can't imagine a world without the Wardens, even if that's what we need. What are you saying? You want to get rid of the Wardens? Everyone makes mistakes. They would have died to save us. They might still be useful. What if Corypheus conjures another blight? You never know. I don't know what to tell you. There are a few good ones, but an awful lot of the Wardens I've known went crazy. This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. Form up! I'm with you.
Warden Stroud. How must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens, only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you are vulnerable to their destruction. When the next light comes, will they curse your name? The Maker's blessing will end this wretched peace. Think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bowed all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you. Whenever they feel like it here. Wonder what's up there. Or maybe it's best we never find out. to outrun anything in this swamp.
Us, but that's a big one. It feeds on our fear. Let it go hungry tonight. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons, and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the faith. Grow fat on your fear.
You cannot stand against me. You will die in agony! You are nothing! Wardens caused this. A warden must. A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Stroud. Inquisitor. Has been an honor. For the water! Right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the mages are free. And Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. Once they understand what really happened... They'll be terrified. I, for one, am tired of giving fear demons anything to feed on. Let them have their story. Inquisitor! The Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. 
Where is Stroud? Warden Stroud died, striking a blow against the Servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice, and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens. Even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck with your Inquisition. Try not to start an exalted march on anything, and take care of Varric for me. Hawk sent me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens carry respect in other nations. If we spread the word that the Inquisition has their support... We may gain standing with nations that have suffered under the Blight. I will take the matter to Josephine. While you bested Corypheus here and at Halam Shiral, he himself was not present either time. We fear he's close to finding another way to enter the Fade. When you have a moment, Colin and Josephine are waiting in the war room with an update. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or a soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... You seemed calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight.
calling the army of demons? That's my favorite part. The demons are nothing. They're a tool. A tool that would have let Corypheus ride roughshod over most of Orlais. Even if they hadn't, the entire idea is wrong. The Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. Hello. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found in the Kokari wilds a humble cottage far removed from any of the simple chastened tribesmen. The trees and weeds have not reclaimed the thing, nor did the chastened dare to come and steal the trinkets still remaining. It was empty, long abandoned, but the world feared that you might return. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I found an ancient spirit who had once been undisputed king of almost every land I had discovered. Like pride or rage, it was the Fade's reflection of a feeling. When I asked which one it was, the spirit faltered. They've forgotten, said the spirit. There remains no word for what I was. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a young canary working in a simple kitchen, baking bread as she was ordered every morning. In every loaf, she broke the rules. She'd take a pinch of sugar and would fold it into the center, like a secret. And this act of small rebellion brought a shining smile across her face. We'll talk later. Goodbye. What can I do for you? I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has... opinions. If I wanted Sarah's opinions, I'd be talking to her. And learning some colorful new idioms, no doubt. What do you wish to know? Is elven magic different from the magic used by humans? No, and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water. But it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval. Although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was... a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. To be honest, I don't see it as different from any other magic. It's a means to an end. Indeed. The problem is that under the Chantry, blood magic is forbidden, so only criminals practice it. While in Tevinter, magisters compete with each other instead of keeping their volatile friends in check. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. I'd like to know more about the Elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the Empire, and Arlathan its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. I'd like to know more about Dalish elves.